What's up, YouTube? My name is Eric. If you're new to my channel, it's all mental health, mental illness, suicide awareness, making sure that nobody goes through it alone. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a counselor. I'm diagnosed ADHD, PTSD, depression, anxiety. I'm a recovering alcoholic and cocaine addict. And I like to share as many experiences as I can so that nobody goes through life alone. One of the things that I am is I am ADHD. And ADHD in men is actually different than it is in women. When it comes to being a man with ADHD or even a kid that's a, that you're a boy with ADHD, um, there are a lot of differences. Women are actually typically a little bit more quiet when it comes to having ADHD and they have some different traits than what men do. One of the big ones with us is we are extremely impulsive. Men are extremely impulsive and we want it done now. Um, that has carried with me all the way through life. Doesn't matter my Adderall, if, if I've taken it or not. Um, I'm very impulsive. I don't think things through sometimes. And the important thing to do is really to have a to-do list or to get a routine done because I am that impulsive and it helps prevent being that impulsive um, because it can get us in trouble and we don't mean to. And, and you have to remember ADHD is a mental illness. Uh, it's something that you're stuck with the rest of your life. It, it's something I have the rest of my life. Uh, it, I'm grateful for it actually in some ways, but in some ways it does hinder my life. Um, when you are ADHD and, and you're, you're a boy and you're growing up and you're a kid, uh, running and hitting is, is actually common. There, there's actually a lot when it comes to hitting and having some physical aggression towards others. Because being ADHD, it's very hard to control your thoughts. So there is a lot of acting out sometimes. And it's more out of frustration and trying to communicate or trying to get this focused than anything else. It's it's not out of a, almost a hatred um, hitting or out of a hatred aggression. It's more out of a confusion aggression, if that makes sense. It's the easiest way that I know how to explain it. I know that somebody with ADHD, if you're a guy, you're going to be like, yeah, I know what you mean. Know what you mean, been there, because <laughs> that's how the shit is. Uh, there's a lack of focus. Uh, To-do list is so important. That's why medication for me is so important, because there is a lack of focus. Um, I can get, you know, squirreled very easily. And what I mean by that is like, oh, there's a squirrel. Oh, there's a red ball. That f trying to stay focused on a task is difficult. Again, for me, sticking to routines and sticking to to-do list and sticking to my medications does help a ton. But being a guy, it's one of those that we can start a lot of projects. Didn't say we finish a lot of projects, but we can start a lot of fucking projects. I guarantee you that. <laughs> It's, it is a challenge, and so that's why I think it's important, too, to keep yourself in check, that you don't take on more than what you can actually accomplish and do, because I've been guilty of that so many times, of taking on so much that I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, and I start it all, I just don't finish it all. That's one of the challenges with ADHD. Uh, trouble sitting still is a big one. I mean, I rock and I fidget a lot. Um, as a guy, I am always constantly doing something with my hands or I'm doing something where I'm rocking in some sort. And it is just, it's a sense of fidgeting that we get. Um, with, with kids, especially if you have a wiggle seat, wiggle seats are the shit. Um, it can help out tremendously in school. I have a different cushion that I use actually for my seat when I'm working out of my house, uh, because I do wiggle so much. Talking excessively is another one, especially with men. Um, we will talk excessively. We will tell very long, drawn-out stories where we don't necessarily get to the point because our thoughts, just trying to focus it in, is going to create a story that might have taken one to two minutes to tell into a 10-minute story. And you're probably going to get fucking bored of it. You're probably going to tell us what's the point of this. Let us kind of vent it out. Otherwise, we do get a little aggressive of, of you're not hearing me, you're not understanding me, but we also don't realize that your thought process isn't necessarily the same as ours. I mean, it's a bunch of fireworks and you're like grasping at this one, trying to tell the story. Well, this one comes into play and you're like trying to let it go. I mean, that's how difficult it is talking and sharing when you have ADHD. Talking excessively is a huge one. Uh, also, interrupting is the is another one. You know, we'll blurt shit out. As guys, we will say some of the stupidest shit in the world. And women, if you, if we're in a relationship with you and you're expecting us to say something, don't set yourself up or set us up for failure, please. And what I mean by that is like you're gonna want some kind of like cute response or something maybe. And if that's not on our mind, we're gonna blurt some weird shit out. Or we might not even hear you all the way through and be blurting stuff out or start over-talking you. And it's not that we're doing it on purpose to be hurtful or harmful. It's how our brain is. And, and you got to be like, dude, come slow down, slow down. I'm here with you. If you if you give us those reminders, especially in a relationship, we don't, at least myself, I don't take offense to it. 
because it's like, okay, hold on. Deep breath, you're right, I'm getting off of track, I'm getting off of subject, let me get back to it. Or remind us even too, if we're, we're start over talking you of like, hey, it's my time right now. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. And, and we're gonna laugh a little bit about it because we're uncomfortable and that's one of my uncomfortable traits is, oh, oh, okay, I'm gonna laugh it off. But you have to remember that these are really the signs that go along with being a man and, and being a guy that has ADHD. Um, the, the big one that women don't have is that physical aggressiveness. I mean, we might come off physically aggressive. Uh, we might, there might be hitting there. There might be, and it's not like, 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 Hey, let's, let's throw hands. It, it, it can even be as much as like, we don't, we don't respect your, your personal space. Even there's touching and like on squeezing the shoulder or patting the back or wanting to give a hug where maybe you're not a hugger. And next thing you know, somebody's trying to give you, you're like, Whoa, dude, hold on in my space. Those are some of the traits. So just keep your eye out. I mean, if you are a guy, it, it can be a little bit of a struggle. Sharing and letting people know that you have ADHD, I think is important because it helps you break down and erase the stigma. Um, I don't think ADHD is looked at quite as the way as like, you know, somebody with schizophrenia or somebody with bipolar uh, or somebody with BPD. It's like, oh, you have ADHD. Oh, okay, that's okay. Well, no, it is also a mental illness and it is a struggle. And sometimes we lose track of that and we downplay it. Uh, but it's something that you have to just, is as long as you acknowledge it and, and bring it to the forefront, I don't think any mental illness outweighs another uh, because we're all fighting and struggling with our own different battles. I mean, one in four people struggle with a mental illness. So be aware of that and, and have understanding for that. But also the more that you do share about it, the more that others will understand and the more that we will break down those barriers of the stigma because nobody deserves to go it alone, no matter what it is that you're going through, that you do matter, your story matters, your fight matters. I mean, that's why I started a nonprofit called Driven Together. I mean, bridging the gap between a crisis hotline and therapy of, of sharing tools, experiences, and resources of what we use to get through everyday life. I mean, hit that like and subscribe button. I share a lot here on YouTube when it comes to just what what I do in, in my own life that has helped me, whether it be fidget spinners or fidget cubes, and I have affiliate links for those down below, whether it be even a link to better help uh, for online therapy to, to trial and error, because life itself is trial and error. And the more that we share our experiences and what we've been through, the more that it helps others go, hey, maybe I'll try this, maybe it'll work for me. Down below, I have links to all my different social medias in the description. Feel free to hit me up on social media. I'll sit with you in the dark until the light comes. Because it's nice just to have somebody that understands, somebody to be able to share with, somebody to be able to talk to that goes, dude, I get it. I've been there. What you're going through, here's what I've went through. And the more that we start to share, the more that, that we start to own it and it doesn't own us. Maybe it helps us remember to take our medication. Maybe it helps us remember that, you know, having ADHD does face some of these different struggles out there. And what I'm going through is okay. And that it does get better. I mean, remember that it does get better and it is worth that fight. Uh, down below, even I have the link to mental health discord. I mean, peer to peer support is one of the biggest things that I believe in because it helps having others that understand. It helps just being able to vent and being able to share. So if you are struggling out there, know that you're not alone. If you're struggling with ADHD, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on ADHD because I'm ADHD and I've really had to dig in and look at how it's affected my life in different ways and really work on it. And, and it is work, but it's worth it. I mean, remember this, that you're a BAMF. You're a badass motherfucker. You've made it through 100% of your worst days to make it through two today. And that we got this. You got this. You matter. And you know what? You're not alone. Hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below. I'd love to have you along for the journey.